freaking new thing. <laughs> freaking new yum 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 and all that good stuff. And pick up, pick up. Alright, so, <laughs> before I get into the machine, I'm going to talk about positioning of the leg extension and how not to position yourself and how to correct your positioning when you're doing leg extension. Okay, so, first, the uh, back support. If you're too far in front like this, you're going to see that my knee position is past the pivot point, which is called knee pain. So, you don't want your knee to be past the pivot point, you want your knee to be matching the pivot point right here. So you could, depending on how long your legs are, that depends on person to person. For me, I'm on number six. Now I'm even with um, the pivot point. Okay. This, this pad right here, it should be above your ankle, and so you have freedom with your toes. You'll be able to work your toes without having any discomfort or anything like that. So if it's too high, you gotta bring it down to where you above your ankle, and you'll be able to work your toes like this. I'll keep that leg So when we're doing uh, a leg extension, I'm gonna hold it so you can see the muscle. This is the vactus lateris training. It's four muscles: vectus lateris, vectus intermedius, uh, rectus femoris, I mean vectus uh, femoris, and uh, vectus uh, medialis. So depending, I mean, anytime you're doing the flexion of the knee. You you all you have to make all four quads. I mean all all quads. But you can also try to isolate or target specifically your, your lateralis or your or your medialis by positioning your your knees out more like this, or also, or also bringing them in, kind of coming in. All right, but don't do this when you're doing squats. You don't want to position your knee in because it's going to cause torque in your knee. But for doing leg raises when you're flexing the knee joint, that's fine. You can have your knee position out to the side. Okay. The way I perform it is I go down slow with one one leg, squeeze it up, hold it down slow without locking my knee. I'm not locking, I'm not completely locking out. I'm straining without locking. If I have to do one leg, I go to the other leg, do the same thing, squeeze, slow contraction. Then I drop the weight, have more weight, and do a double right after that and I squeeze my quad. And then on the next set, if I do left side first, and then right side, and double, I will do right side next, left side, and then double. Make sure even, because if you're doing your left leg first, and then your right, your left leg has more rest, and it's going to help you uh, go to double. But this one is with T, because we did, the, we did the single with the right lap. So next time you do it, you do single with your right first, then you single with your left second, and then you do doubles, that way you have the, you're even on your leg. Okay? So you can position it different ways, that way, straight, and also inside. You're working your, on your quad, but you can try to isolate, like a like in how you're doing tricep. You can, you're working all your triceps, but you're trying to isolate the, the medial head or the long head. So that's it for this, I think. Um, I try to do 15 and 20 reps. Hold the squeeze, come down slow, take a minute break, do another set. I might add more weight, depending on how I feel. But I care about the negative. Never drop it like this. Don't ever do this. Don't take a break. Oh, that's do it again. Okay, don't don't do this. Don't let the weight drop because that's taking a break. So you want to keep it centered on your quads by letting it come like almost like half an inch or a quarter inch from the from the base, and then come up. That way you still keep the tension on your on your quads. So if you're doing this. They're taking a, a, a second break in between. You don't want to do that. Don't want to slap the weights. You don't want to make it. You don't want to never slap the weights anyways. Because you could damage the equipment. Okay. Um, I think that's it for this. I guess. So uh, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And if you're not subscribed, that's not second. Freaking huge, man. <laughs>